Hello, welcome to Top 20 Diamond Awards. <laughs> Entry number one. The Fiery Follicles. Eric from Smithville on June 15th, 1997 was at a family barbecue. You know what he did? He fucking set his hair on fire, didn't he? Fucking dickhead. <laughs> Yeah, he, he died. He straight died. He's fucked. He's gone. Number two, Grizzly Encounter. Now, for those of you who aren't from Australia, we have kangaroos. They're not bears at all. Yeah, we'll, we'll call this guy John. Decided to get a fucking stick from a tree, yeah? And he poked the grizzly bear with it while it was camping. You know, it was asleep. Not for long. <laughs> Number three, expired euphoria. Jane was getting on the uh, good shit. Problem with the good shit was it was out of date. Very much out of date, like fucking by about like 40, 50 years. So <laughs> imagine like 40, 50 year old version of OxyContin. Entry number four, the Piranha Predicament. Bobby <laughs> was up in the Amazon. Decided uh, it would be a good idea to dangle some dingly danglers in the fucking water. <laughs> the fuck of the piranhas. And they fucked him. They fucked him right up. They actually fucking, yeah, they killed him. <laughs> they ate him from his balls and just kept eating, man. They fucked him right up. But even now, they're sticking that. It's fucked. Entry number five the Falcon Toast Hero. What a fucking name. <laughs> So yeah, um, this happens quite often actually. Um, people just you know they got they got their toast gets stuck in the the bread warmer. <laughs> yeah, and look, it might be a resistor that heats it up, but still, there's an electrical current flowing through it. It's a volts that jolt, smells that kill. Walk straight onto it, fucking electrocution, dead. But yeah, just try not, just don't kill yourself. It's not good for you. Number six, DIY electrical extraordinaire. There's another generalized sort of one, you know. People just they go and do their own fucking. They they think they're an electrician, yeah. One second you connect your fucking water mains to your electrical mains, and yeah, it's all over. But in this one, we'll call him Michael. Yeah, just LA. What can I say? Costs are living pretty high and just fucking zap. Number seven, high flowing solo act. Now, Mr. Brown, you know, he uh, tried to teach himself how to fly a plane with one of them old school fucking USB joysticks on like one of those fucking video games. Not flight simulator, like a, just a probably, um, Oh, I forgot what it's called. Like one of those ones of like a Spitfire and then you shoot stuff down. Battle, Battle of Britain. He was up in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Trying to fly a plane <laughs> for the first time. It was the last time. Yeah, no, he fucked himself right up. Oh, well, I'd say he fucked himself down. Straight to the fucking floor. Blew up. Dead. Number eight. Pie Peril. So... Aged like a fine line, that's a, you know, common phrase, you know, actual thing. Aged like milk, that's another saying. Aged like a fine pie. Now, don't get me wrong, beef and Guinness pie is pretty fucking good. But, uh, yeah, no, apparently Emily from Chicago played. Fortnite with it, meaning she let it sit there for a fuck of fortnight. Yeah, her fridge wasn't working properly. So, um, basically, yeah, nah, she ate it and it fucking, yeah. That's a nice thing about I love a good pie. I've got pie in the fridge right now, but fuck me. Yeah, she actually died after eating a two-week-old unrefrigerated pie. That's fucked. Entry number nine, Psycho Killer Party Planner. The notorious criminal, Ruthless Rick, aka Richard Ramirez, basically got invited 
you know, after his mates knew that he was a killer, to a bit of a doof doof in uh, Miami, Florida last year. And um, it ended well, it ended with um, the strangulation of about seven people because, you know, he just couldn't stand being single. Entry number 10, Revving Regret. Revving, revving, rev, brum, 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 brum. Uh, Alex Thompson decided to fucking decide it would be a good idea to go scratch the HSV of someone in the underbelly, not naming names. So, uh, rip. Space Oddity Redux. Astronaut. Well, you know, <laughs> just an astronaut. That's, you know, all you need to know. Um, was doing a space walk and um, something happened and they ended up actually removing their helmet. That's um, breathtaking. <laughs> Number 12, Dry's Dilemma. Daniel, we shall call him, decided to hide in a clothes dryer during hide and seek. Now, that's a fucking common thing to do. I've done it, you've done it, I've all done it. I somehow fit in the clothes dry. Yeah, fucking hope. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, of course. Number 13, Snake's Silent Fury. Let's call this person Miller. Miller decided to take a snake home as a pet. Not a domesticated one either. Just a wild fucking, yeah, what do you call it? Rattlesnake. That could do it. It got out of its enclosure and, uh, yeah. Miller got fucked up. <laughs> Rip Miller. Alright. Yep. Entry number 14. Cyber kidney auctioneer. Inflation's pretty bad, yeah. Sometimes you gotta get some extra money, so. Yes. Deep web. Kidney auction. Understandable. Uh, Harris decided to auction both his kidneys, so. Yeah, no, no kidneys, no worries. Number 15. Now, I'm sure we've all done this, but uh, Carol decided, um, yeah, let's eat some super glue. Now, I've had a super glue incident at work. It wasn't involved, it didn't involve eating it. Number 16. Button of Doom. Robert was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was walking trackside, doing some graffiti vandaling, when he saw an out-of-control train flying down the tracks. Now, he noticed that there were five people on the tracks, his graffiti crew, and he had to make a decision because his graffiti crew was going to get hit. But... There was a different track, and there was a ticket inspector right next to it. And he thought, if I press this red button here, it'll, it won't run over my graffiti crew, but it'll run over a ticket inspector, or at least it could. Though, but I'll be responsible for the death, but I'm going to do it anyway. So he hits the red button, and a train comes flying off the track and smashes directly into him, blowing him up. Number 17, Moose Misadventure. Now Parker decided to dress as a moose. Not for Halloween, but to go out hunting for moose. <laughs> Anyone see a problem with this? Yeah, nah, fuck a pew 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 rip. Number 18, Mark. The adventurous daredevil decided to stick in um in a wasp nest just to you know work your way up some poisons. Nah, fuck it, nah, they fuck it, yeah. Mark was allergic to a bunch of wasps, all of them, <laughs> every single fucking one of them. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's my list. Alright, so I've got my three runners up. My three runners up are... Stand on the edge of the train station platform Drive around the boom, get out of level crossing Run across the 
tracks between 